All right, so we're back. We're talking with Joseph from Pond View Winery. Now, Joseph, a couple of weeks ago, I was at the 54 Wines event that was being thrown by the Iowa Wine Club, and I met a couple of your colleagues there. They Actually, had the it was my brother-in-law and his, and his wife, Adriana. Right, right. I met them, but you said they didn't bring the same stuff that you brought today. Over there, I tried, I think I tried their Cabernet Sauvignon, Correct. which I liked. Uh, but you tonight, tonight, you've got the Cabernet Franc. You're also impressing me with your Pinot Grigio, which is very full-bodied, and I like it a lot. Right. Tell us a little bit about Pond View, because Adriana, for some reason, didn't want to go on camera. <laughs> she said she was too shy and that her husband would have done it, but she was too shy. <laughs> so now it's been left to Joseph, who uh, I happen to run into two weeks later. Okay. You can give us a little story about Pond View. Sure. We're family, first of all. Yeah. So Louis is my brother-in-law, Adriana my sister-in-law. We all work together. We all work very hard. We got a passion for what we do. That's our livelihood. Yeah. So we didn't just throw a lot of money at a winery. We were actually growers first. And in 2008, my brother-in-law, Lou, was great king. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's basically an award of excellence for having the nicest, finest vineyard in all of Ontario. Okay. So for as a, a young, great grower. As a great grower. Right. And it means something because it's given to you by your peers. Mm -hmm. Those in the business that are growing grapes, they say, you're doing something remarkable, you should be recognized. So as a as a 38-year-old man, to be a grape king is quite an achievement. Big deal. Big deal. So we are one of the five or six wineries actually in all of Niagara whose owner is actually a former grape king. Yeah. So our roots go in the vineyard. You can't make good wine if you're not growing good grapes. Now, if you're, a gra if you're a good grape grower, I have to assume that in order for them, you as a family, to go into the wine making business, grape growing wasn't enough. Why wasn't it enough? Well, we got 60 acres of grapes and uh, we were selling up the grapes to other winery. But then in 2008, the big boys, um, to be honest with you, they weren't purchasing our grapes. Even though we were grape king, so we had the finest grapes around, actually our grapes were left on the vines to rot because there was no buyer. So you're held hostage basically to somebody who's going to buy your grapes? We said never again. Okay. Never again. So we took the next step, opened up the winery, best thing that we did. We should have done this before. <laughs> yeah. The Cabernet Sauvignon is great. Okay. The Pinot Grigio that we're having right now is great. Um, did you always know you were going to make great wine, or did you step from the grape growing business into the wine making business with a little? Were you nervous at all? Well, we weren't nervous. I mean, competition, there's a lot of wineries. Just in Niagara, there are at least 32 wineries just in Niagara. Okay. So your product has to stand out, has to be good. Our philosophy in life is that in business, that we got to make a good product at a good price. So when I sell you a bottle of Pinot Grigio for $17, you take it home, you enjoy it, and you say, wow, that was good. I need to buy some more. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's uh, talk. About, let's wrap it up by talking about this Pinot Grigio, because I know you like it a lot. I know you're proud of it. Why are you so proud of it? It's a nice full body Pinot Grigio, done in an Italian style, nice and dry, but it's a lot a fuller body than most Italian thin, watered down Pinot Grigio. So it's got a nice acidity, good uh, pink grapefruit on the nose, on the palate, very nicely balanced. It's really refreshing, really, really nice Pinot Grigio. Cheers. Cheers. Love it. Enjoy. That's fantastic. Thanks. I'm sure we'll see you or Adriana at the next event, but I'm assuming that it's going to be you that's going to do the talking. So. It's family. One of us will do it. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph.